Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to fix uh, unauthorized ADB devices, you know, a USB ADB debugging. Um, first thing we're going to do is uh, you know, you're going to want to download the platform tools from uh, Android Studio uh, for to get the uh, ADB. If you don't have, already have a uh, Android Studio installed with ADB, just you can download it here. A uh, link will be on the post. Um, download this. I've already downloaded it. It's a zip file. Just unzip it and go to Platform Tools. Hold Shift and right click. Open PowerShell window here. Okay. And uh, to just test that it's working, we've got a few scripts here. Let's just do ADB devices. Okay, currently mine is uh, authorized, so I'm going to go over here. My device is authorized. I'm going to show you. Yeah, let's go over here. I'm going to disable ADB debugging, revoke all privileges, authorization, sorry, and. Uh, I will show you now. I'm going to show you how to get your ADB devices authorized. So, back here, we're going to just test again. We have no devices listed. We're going to try to uh, run a shell and uh, nothing found. Okay, cool. So what we need to do is, on our phone, we obviously in developer options, scroll down to USB debugging, click enable, say OK. Now you may not get this message. What you need to do, so I'm going to say cancel. What you need to do is run ADB kill server in your PowerShell. Okay, and then ADB start server. Obviously, all of this is with your USB, your phone connected via USB to your PC. Okay, so then now you're going to restart the server, and now you will get another prompt. On your phone you can say always allow from this computer click allow now let's try and run any big show for this list of devices we have our device listed and it is no longer unauthorized and we can start the show ls cd into data ls Okay, permissions allowed. Cool. So that's it. It's really that easy. Cool. Thanks for watching.